Good morning, tubers. BTHV1 here, Bruce the Handyman version 1 because a handyman never does the same thing twice. So today we're working on a Tecumseh lawnmower. I'll try not to shake, like I always say. So here it is. It's a really good quality mulcher, not, not just a side bagger, but it's an actual mulcher. Uh, it's a little higher quality. You can see it, the muffler has a cage on it to keep from being burnt. Uh, I've got it all cleaned up. Uh, sharpened and balanced blade, new air cleaner, or air filter, excuse me. Uh, oil change, fresh gas. Starts with one pull, and uh, it would be ready to get rid of, except for one problem. It has a miss at running speed. So we'll just take it outside, and I'll show you what's going to happen. And then we'll uh, pull the carburetor off, and uh, we'll have a look and see what's wrong with it. So we'll just take it outside. A very nice mower actually. I'm not a fan of just mulchers because they don't sell for as much money as a bagger. So we'll see how this goes. It says three times. I do it six. Sorry for the shakiness now. <laughs> So to me it sounds like it's starving for fuel. Uh, I did take the bowl, the carburetor bowl off and check the bowl nut and all of the passageways in the bowl nut are clear. But when I took the spark plug out over here, it had white powders on it. So to me it's been running lean, lean, lean for a while. So it's not getting enough fuel. So I suspect some sort of a blockage in the carburetor, maybe in the idling circuit here, uh, could be anywhere. But uh, it's a very typical Tecumseh carburetor issue, but they're not all the same. So we'll, I'll just turn you off, we'll get it up on the hoist and my little lift, I mean my uh, lawnmower lift, and we'll have a look. So here we are again with my lawnmower on the lift. It makes life a lot easier. I've taken the lawnmower heat guard off and the the muffler itself and I always put my parts in a box there's the air filter heat guard muffler so that's all pretty self-explanatory we don't have to get too involved now I'm going to take these two nuts off the carburetor intake manifold that one's a little different because it's and uh, we'll take the carburetor off remembering which right back in there which two uh, le uh, little levers go on the governor and I've got a vice grip on the in on the gas line so it doesn't drip too much. It'll drip a little. And we'll take the carburetor off and then we'll have a look. So just catching you up. Hi folks. Well I've got the carburetor off and, and almost cleaned. But what I was noticing, this is the uh, Tecumseh 670377 carburetor tool. And it does all kinds of things. But one thing it does do is that this space right here is a measure for the float on the uh, from the body to the float of the carburetor. And it looks like the float is sitting a little high. So when it's upside down, it might not be letting in enough gas. If it was set a little deeper, it would be it would fall down faster and let in more fuel. So that could be one thing, but gosh, I really don't think it's causing our situation to be that bad. I actually expect our problem to be something I haven't got there yet, 
with something like one of these little jets plugged inside here way inside there like that so we'll keep working on it uh, just going to take the float off now and examine that the pin comes out pretty easy and there's the float and needle they look good except for that height issue I was talking about needle looks good and I'll just finish cleaning it up and then we'll look for a clog somewhere BTH V1 okay guys I have looked in every passageway on this carburetor and everything seems clean so I took the um, the intake that holds the air cleaner off and I took my screwdriver and I just tapped it tap the emulsion tube down. We're going to take the emulsion tube out. And now I have a in my little carburetor kit here that I carry around that has all my little wires and pokers and jigs. I have an Allen key that I use specifically for this and I push down uh, the emulsion tube. I'll have to give it a little nudge again with a screwdriver. Uh, screwdriver! <clears throat> Why do things want to disappear whenever you want to work on something? There we go. So right inside there now we're going to push this emulsion tube out if we can. There we go. And there it popped right out. Well, that's a good thing. And this is an emulsion tube. And sometimes they get plugged. Now it's got some pretty ugly looking rubber on here. It's not necessarily a real bad thing. Take it off. And we'll see if we can get this, have any clogs in this emulsion tube. Now I know already that it's clear through. But the secret to these is all the little holes that are in it. There's a hole there which goes through. And there should be holes further down. No, that's it. Just one hole in this one. But it came out nicely, so that's great. I have this washer, we'll put that on. So I'm having a hard time finding the clog in this carburetor. I'm even using my little 90 degrees carburetor sprayer squirter. I don't like to get too much uh, carburetor cleaner on the uh, rubber parts on the inside of the carburetor because they can dissolve them. It kind of deteriorates them. So now I'm just going to take my flashlight and have a look down there. And I'm going to shoot some carburetor cleaner into the one jet I know is halfway down the threads. Right there. Oh, and I saw it come out the idling circuit, which is good. There we should see. Ah, that's a good shot. Okay, we're going into the idling circuit. I know I got my camera. I might squirt my camera, but look at that. So that's wonderful. So I'm going to turn this camera off so I don't get any more carburetor spray on it. And we'll... Uh, Okay, tubers, I think I found a couple of clogs. There was nothing wrong with the emulsion tube, but I did find a clog in the, uh, I think this is called the idling circuit, and uh, this goes right into here on the side, 
We'll turn it in with a screwdriver. I'm just about to go and uh, buy myself a better bunch of screwdrivers. These ones are getting worn out. Uh, nothing wrong with the quality of them, but they're just getting worn out. Now this goes on hand tight. You don't have to worry about setting that orifice or anything. Now this piece of plastic cover goes over top just so people don't muck with it. And we'll continue putting it back together. There's not a lot left. Hi tubers, I'm back. We're, uh, we've reassembled the uh, carburetor onto the lawnmower. The uh, throttle is ready to go. There it is. Sorry. There we go. Uh, air cleaner is back on with the right orientation. Uh, bowl is back on. I did find a clog in the uh, idling circuit. And uh, we've assembled everything including the heat deflector for the muffler. And uh, we are ready to go. We're going to take it off the hoist and take it outside for a little run. Sorry for the shakiness. A couple more pumps because it's a... Sorry, a couple more pumps because it's a fresh... Uh, carburetor's been empty. We'll see if she runs even. saw my thumbs up there I let it run for about five minutes and it's settled right down runs really good no misses and uh, when I got it I paid ten dollars for it uh, on the weekend there was a bunch of garage sales around town and I picked it up uh, at first it didn't start at all and I took the little bowl nut out of the carburetor and it had a plug in it and uh, put that back in and it uh, started to run as you saw in the first of the video with that heavy heavy miss and also it had a, just a loose wheel. It would, um, the person who sold it to me thought the wheel was broken, but it just needed the uh, three quarter inch uh, bolt and nut behind tightened up. And uh, then the, uh, the little 70 cent, or whatever it is, friction strap and washer. Sorry, it was the uh, 632547. And that went on the emulsion tube, on the base of the emulsion tube. And I found a plug on the idling circuit, on the unadjustable screw that went into the carburetor. And that's about it. So thanks for watching, and another successful run. We'll, we'll just run it again. So it runs great. BTHV1 over and out.